I've been here in Mauritania for two, two months and almost three months actually. And I memorized it here. This ayah of Allah, put, it put tears in my eyes when I was about to memorize it. And the reason why is because I felt like Allah Azawajal was telling me something. And the way how it hit me, how it stuck with me, this ayah, and how much I will refer back to it when, for example, right now, teaching you guys, I know that Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, everything for Allah Azza wa Jal is based on, on a qadr. Naam. And the reason why is because the day before I decided, I prayed Salah Istikhara and I said, I'm closing my Instagram. Because I generally felt like my Instagram from time to time, it would be a cause of either uh, weak iman and of course cause of weak iman will cause you to to fall into certain unnecessary things that you shouldn't be shouldn't be involved with whether it's you catch yourself scrolling for hours wasting your time watching unnecessary things your heart just becomes weak so i generally when i came to mauritania and i i gave time away for quran because since as you guys seen in the introduction since back then my goal is always been to memorize the quran because i because it, it generally changed me is it generally as allah says oh you people there is a sort of guide and advice that has come to you and a healing for your hearts i generally feel like quran the only happiest times in my life it's not last year that we made seven figures it's not um you know when with family it's not when it's nothing of that it's when i'm by myself in a room with the quran open and i'm experiencing the meanings of it and being able to ponder on it and being able to sync it with my personal uh experiences in life etc that's what gives me what raises my iman and that's what generally makes me the happiest i've I ever been in my life so when i memorize going back to this when i was when i decided to get rid of my instagram for the sake of allah even though i had seventy thousand plus followers 